Tell me, Glenn, why did you write the book, Original Politics? I wrote the book, Original Politics, because I wanted to find the sacred purpose of America. You know, when I found out that American ideals are really founded upon Native American values, liberty, justice, equality, inalienable rights, all of those things the Founding Fathers observed in living Native American cultures, which were truly egalitarian. But the Founding Fathers left out some of that egalitarianism. They left out women and people of color. And in doing so, they created an American shadow. Now we have a president, Donald Trump, who's a catalyst for revealing the American shadow. And that gives us both danger and opportunity. I tell a story in original politics. It's a White Mountain Apache story, and it goes like this. An old woman is weaving a beautiful rug. And as she nears completion of the rug, she gets up to stir a soup that's on the fire. Well, when she gets up, her black dog that's been sleeping in the corner awakens, takes a thread in its mouth and pulls on it and unravels the whole rug. The woman returns and she's unfazed. She sees the rug where there was beauty and harmony. There's now chaos and disorder. But she picks up a thread and stares into the rug and reimagines an even more beautiful way to reweave the rug in beauty and harmony. And that's where we are in America today. We have an opportunity to see America as it really is and to reweave a more beautiful rug, in a, a totally inclusive rug. So the book, Original Politics, is about inclusivity. It's about including both liberal and conservative views as two aspects of one whole. It's not about just returning to normal, although that might be nice at this time. It's really about returning to natural, to a love of nature, and repositioning original politics to include the natural world. It's about love of nature, because love of nature, I contend, leads to love of each other. And that's why I wrote the book, Original Politics. Thank you for asking.